Breathe in, breathe out. Let the breath be comfortable. After all, meditation is medicine for the mind. The breath is the solvent that gets the, that gets the medicine into the body and into the, into the mind. And mindfulness is the actual, actual medicine. Remembering what we're here for. We're here to develop powers of concentration. We're here to let go of our defilements, anything that causes stress and suffering for the mind. You've always got to keep that in mind. That's what mindfulness is, keeping something in mind. Alertness is what watches what's actually going on, and the two of them have to go together. If you were just alert without any mindfulness, you wouldn't know anything. Just be receiving input but not knowing what to do with it. Mindfulness is reminds you that what you've got to do with these things when you learn something through the eyes, the ears, nose, tongue, body, and the mind. What are you going to do with that knowledge? Because the mind is active all the time, so it needs directions. It needs to have a sense of what's the right way to take this information and use it to a good purpose. So that's what you've got to keep in mind. And so when the mind wanders off, you remember that we're not here to wander, we're here to stay still. So the mindfulness is what keeps things under control. In the Buddha's image, he says it's like a, a, a goad that the farmer uses with a water buffalo. The water buffalo doesn't know which way to turn, or it's, it's turning the wrong way, and the farmer sticks it with a goad to remind it which, which way to turn. How to keep it going straight when it's going down the going down the field and how to turn around when it comes to the end. And the same way the mind needs a little go to remind it, okay, this is where you want to be, this is where you want to go. Because otherwise we forget. It's so easy to forget because we have so many other agendas going on all at once. So whatever those agendas may be, you have to remind yourself, this is not the time for following them. This is the time to stay with the breath as it comes in, as it goes out to make the breath comfortable, and once it's comfortable, to expand your sense of awareness. Because if the breath stays comfortable but the awareness gets smaller and smaller, you drift off and you don't know where you are. So as soon as things start getting comfortable, expand that sense of awareness to fill the whole body. And keep it expanded all the way in, to the in-breath, all the way out with the out-breath. Notice there will be a tendency for it to shrink, especially around the out-breath. So you just keep it expanded, expanded. This way you keep reminding yourself, okay, this is the right thing to do here. And you find that you really can shape your experience in a way that's going to be helpful. Helpful to the mind settling down, helpful for the mind being able to see itself in action clearly. So try to keep these things in mind.